Okay, now we are in lesson 4.6 title Interpreting the Interval Estimate of Population Proportion. Lesson outcomes. At the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to compute the interval estimates of population proportions, interpret results of interval estimates of a population proportion, and solve problems involving Population's proportion. There are certain issues in society that require sufficient evidence for decision making. For example, if in the Philippines divorce can be legal, to find the answer to this question, you will have a conduct survey to sufficient sample of the public, then calculate and interpret the population proportion and present the results to the lawmakers as possible reference for policy formulation. Statistical analysis of numerical data includes an end note called interpretation. The interpretation is important as it provides the reason of in fetus for action based on sample information. Example one, a science major. In a graduate teacher college, a survey was conducted to determine the proportion of students who want to major in science. If 426 out of 950 students said yes with 95% confidence, what interpretation can we make regarding the probability that all students in the teacher graduate college want to major in science? Solution one. So step one, describe the population parameter of interest. So it is the parameter of interest is the mean proportion P of all students in the teacher graduate college who want to major in science. Step two, specify the confidence interval criteria. Check the assumption. So by central limit theorem, the sample size of 950 student is normally distributed. Determine the test statistic. The test statistic is the P. State the level of confidence, 95% confidence level, so the alpha is 0 0.05. Confidence coefficient is 1.96. Step three, collect and present the sample uh, evidence. So the sample information, a given X is 426, and the small n is 1050. Again, find the point estimate of uh, P uh, using the point estimate or P hat equals X over N. So X is 426 divided by 950, then we have 0 0.448, and rounding up, so we have 0 0.45. The point estimate of the population proportion is 0 0.45 or 45%. Step for compute the interval estimate, find the Q hat. So it is Q hat equals one minus P hat. And one minus 0 0.45 is 0 0.55. Find the maximum error of estimate. Using the square root of P hat times Q hat all over N. And P hat is, 0.45, so we have square root of 0 0.45 times Q hat is 0.55 divided by N, 950, and it is 0 0.016. Then find the limits. For the lower limit, we have P hat minus the error times the Z sub alpha over two, and for the upper limit, we have P hat plus uh, Z sub alpha over two times the maximum error. And for the lower limit, we have uh, 
0.45 minus 1.96 times 0 0.016 less than P less than the upper limit P hat plus or 0.45 plus 1.96 times 0 0.16. So for the lower limit, we have 0 0.419 less than P less than the upper limit is 0 0.4. 0.481 and describe the results we have thus the 95 percent confidence we can assert that the interval from 49.9 percent to 48.1 percent contains the true percentage of all graduate students who want to major in science and the last yung tiyatag natin, interpretation this means that the repeated construction of confidence intervals, approximately 95% of all the samples, would produce confidence intervals that contains the true population proportion P. The interpretation may lead to a course campaign improving the school environment for science majors and so on. Interpretation depends on the importance of the solutions to emerging problems. And that's it. And ito yung ating magiging practice. A nutritionist want to know the population proportion of grade 1 learners who eat vegetables peg at a confidence of 95% uh, the survey among 1,200 respondents was conducted and 200 said that they eat vegetables, interpret the data. And that's it.